Thanks for coming out this morning. Wanted to bring to everybody's attention um, an important question that is on the uh, ballot this coming November. Um, obviously, there's a lot of important decisions that uh, residents of Hudson County and Jersey City will be making. Um, amongst them will be uh, a commitment to support arts and culture here in Jersey City in perpetuity. This has been a long road for uh, Jersey City and the Arts Council and will be the first uh, municipality in the state of New Jersey to create a trust fund um, that will support arts, artists, and uh, nonprofit organizations here in Jersey City um, in perpetuity. Uh, why are we doing this? We're doing this because we recognize that uh, in tough times, the first thing that gets cut, unfortunately, is the arts. And uh, we feel that it's something that makes a city a livable place, a desirable place. Um, it expands young people's minds and creativity. It's an investment worthwhile to make. And we want to make sure that Jersey City is a place that's always investing in this. Um, it's been more than two years that we've been working on this project. Uh, we've had a partner in the state assembly that sponsored the legislation and pushed it forward. Um, we're thankful that Governor Murphy signed the legislation to give us the opportunity. But on November 3rd, the opportunity now lies with the residents of Jersey City to vote yes and say that this is something that they're going to approve. It's a small fee, relatively speaking. Um, it's just mere a couple dollars on your tax bill. Um, you could look at it from uh, the equivalent of a movie ticket or uh, uh, going to a festival, um, and uh, that will support arts organizations uh, to the tune of millions here in Jersey City. So I want to bring up uh, first uh, Assemblywoman Angela McKnight, who's been our partner uh, at the state level, uh, getting this legislation enacted and uh, allowing us to move forward on this ballot question. So Assemblywoman Angela McKnight. Good morning. This is a beautiful, beautiful partnership. Working with the mayor and the Jersey City Arts Council has been a pleasure. This legislation will allow us to invest in our children. I know many people say it's a tax hike, but I say it's a lift up to our youth. It's a lift up to everyone to use their creativity and their minds. We need programs for our youth here in Jersey City. And having this question on the ballot and for everyone to vote yes is an investment in our children. So I'm here to say, please vote yes on this question. If you have your ballot, it's a question for Jersey City, vote yes. You're voting for our youth. This is just another opportunity so that we can raise up our youth to use their minds and to use their creativity. It's been a pleasure again to work with the mayor, the Jersey City Arts Council, and my colleagues down in the Senate, Senate as well as in the assembly so that we can make sure that we are investing in our youth. If you don't get nothing else from what I'm saying, you vote yes because you are investing into our youth. So with further ado, I would like to bring up Ward Councilwoman, is she here? All right, she's not here. So, Mayor, you want to come back up here? Get on up here, Mayor. <laughs> Thank you, Angela. Um, I want to bring up Heather from the Jersey City Arts Council. The Arts Council has been um, the point uh, for the arts community in advocating for more funding. Um, a couple of years ago, it was established with some leaders uh, in the arts community who recognized that uh, without a sustainable funding source, uh, our vibrant arts community would no longer exist. So uh, two years later, with a lot of advocacy and hard work, we're here today. Um, we have a, a debt of gratitude to the Arts Council, and I want to bring up the current uh, chair, uh, Heather Warfall sandler to say a couple words. Good morning. Um, I'm Heather. This is my co-chair, Mac Adam Smith, and our founding chair, Robinson Holloway, is also here today. Um, I'm excited to be celebrating 25 years of living in Jersey City this year, and uh, I've been thinking a lot about how I've been fortunate to be kind of integrated into the community in many different ways. Um, as a parent of a student at public school number three, I've seen how the visual arts program and the musical theater program at that school 
bring a vibrancy to the families there and also have brought national recognition to our schools. As a teacher for 20 years at County Prep High School over on Montgomery Street, I've seen the role that the arts play in students uh, finding their voice and their self-expression and also finding scholarships to college, uh, getting degrees, and then finding successful creative career paths. As a homeowner in Bergen Lafayette, I get excited when I find out that there's going to be a concert at the park around the corner, or that there's an art show, and I can go around the corner after work, take a walk, see a show, go to one of my favorite restaurants. Um, I really also, as a homeowner, see this contribution uh, from my taxes as being an investment in the community. The Jersey City Arts Council board and I volunteer our time because we wholeheartedly understand how the arts play a role in our community at all levels. So this is about supporting our artists, but it's also going further into supporting other aspects of the community. Uh, we're really grateful to Mayor Fulop for his support and to Christine and the cultural uh, the Office of Cultural Affairs in working with us. Um, something else I've been thinking about a lot and one of the reasons that I wanted to raise my family here in Jersey City is the diversity and I think it's something that we is a great source of pride. We're always number one or two on the diversity list uh, for the country and I've been thinking about how we see in cities across the country when the artists get pushed out, often there goes the diversity with it. And I really hope that when people look at this um, voting for this referendum that we're thinking more big picture about how the arts are really integrated into so many other aspects of our society. Um, <clears throat> We, as the Arts Council, as we go forward with these funds, we're gonna continue to work with the city and make sure that the funds are supporting different kinds of artists, different kinds of arts organizations, and also that we can use these funds to address any inequities, uh, inequities that there might have been in arts access and make sure that these funds and the arts reach all neighborhoods and pop populations. So um, as we've heard, this is a vote for the arts, but it's also a vote for our kids, for our neighborhoods, for our businesses. And we really are looking forward to a thriving arts community in Jersey City. Thank you. I want to bring up our councilwoman, uh, Mira Prince Ari, who represents the uh, west side of Jersey City. Uh, she has been the point person from the city council side on this. Uh, Mira Prince Ari, Councilwoman Ward B. Thank you, Mayor, and thank you to everyone from the arts community for being here and for advocating for this, to Robinson Holloway, for all of the work that you have done to really bring this to the state level so that so we can execute this at the city level. Um, I'll be brief because everything has been said before me, but you cannot underestimate the importance of the arts within community. It shows children another way. It gives them opportunity and access to worlds that they might never ever experience on their own. Um, to touch on the diversity in Jersey City, we're looking at a city that speaks so many different languages. The arts are a universal language that even if you don't understand the words, you understand the emotion, you understand the visual, you understand the feeling. Um, and the arts touches all parts of our city. Um, it is an economic driver and a force. The arts are a business and the arts feed into other businesses. So where there is arts activity, you see activity in our restaurants, in our cafes, in our retail. It just, um, it is all encompassing and I cannot express how important this is going to be. When we did the Open Space Trust Fund, it gave us an opportunity to um, do more with our open space, to give people access to um, you know, green space, which helps them mentally, physically, spiritually. The arts tax will do the same. It will support our organizations. It will give them the opportunity to reach all parts of our city. And um, I'm very excited about this, and we're hoping that you all are excited about this and voting yes on the arts referendum to support our arts organizations. Um, I want to bring up also from the city side the director of cultural affairs who also has a great deal of familiarity on the nonprofit side with arts organizations here in Jersey City is Christine Goodman. Um, she has been the point person from the administration side in getting this to the place we are today. Thank you, Mayor. I have run uh, arts organizations and programs here in Jersey City for almost 20 years. And the one thing I've seen firsthand is the funding gap. The organizations that are here today face an uphill battle to deliver the level of programming that our residents need and deserve. And 
this arts fund is one step forward, one piece of this puzzle that will keep our organizations sustainable and delivering the kinds of programs for our youth, for our little ones, for our senior citizens, for our community that a city our size deserves. And by putting forward this arts fund, Mayor Fulop is saying, I care about the arts. The arts are an important issue here in Jersey City. And my hope is that the foundations, the corporate giving, the granting organizations will take a look at the leadership that is coming from our administration and say, you know what, our dollars should go here too. And so that collectively, we can move the arts forward for Jersey City. It's time. And I want to thank Assemblyman Raj Mukherjee. I want to thank Assemblywoman Angela McKnight for your leadership on this issue, for putting yourselves out in front and saying our young people deserve access to the arts, our residents deserve access for the arts. Jersey City, now is the time. Vote yes. Thank you. Um, I think it's important that we hear from a couple artists. Um, I'd like to first bring up Duda Penteado, who's a renowned artist, uh, immigrated here from Brazil, very involved in our community, um, known um, well beyond this region. But uh, the thing that's special also about Duda is that he's invested his time in mentoring a lot of young people here as part of the Jersey City Public Arts Program. Um, every summer, dozens of them uh, create public art with Duda's leadership. And uh, we, we think uh, his programs embody a lot of what we're trying to support over here, both from the artist standpoint and investing in young people. So uh, Duda, if you want to come up here, say a couple words. Thank you, Mayor. Well, I have been around the city of Jersey City for more than 20 years to more than four, probably four different administrations. And I think, I wanna thank this administration, this particular one to push forward this particular effort. A city without arts has no soul. A city without arts has no soul. The arts are the soul of a city. And I think it's very important that we push this forward because the arts can help to create an environment for conversation, for um, dialogue, for many different layers of artistic expressions from the youth to adults to all kinds of things. Jersey City is the second biggest city of the state and it's just right now at this point with this administration, I think right at the tip point to turn to something more established, something that can create really a bad environment for the entire city. So I want to thank Mayor Fulop, this administration, this effort. Please vote yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. Uh, next, I would like to uh, welcome up Olga Lavinia from the Jersey City Theater Center to say a few words from the arts side. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, well, I um, do represent Jersey City Theater Center as non-for-profit, but I'm also business owner um, in our community in Jersey City. Um, and it's White Eagle Halls that we built a couple of years ago. And what I know is that uh, last, year, yes, last year alone, 2019, White Eagle Hall brought 75,000 people to Jersey City. What it means for the city, it means every business owner downtown love us. Uh, the restaurants turn their tables seven to ten, ten times when we have, um, when we have concerts. So it's economic dollars for our city. And um, yes, it is, um, it, it is, we have all the research today that's saying that uh, if you invest $1 in arts, you invest 16 in a community. 